Welcome to Library Trends YouTube channel. Today we'll be learning how to make this beautiful cone dress. Okay, so this is a cone dress after embellishing it with glittering lace. You can see how beautiful this looks. So we'll be learning how to make this dress, the down part of this dress, the cone part in this class. Okay, so this is it on our model. She refused to stand. Okay, and this is it on the 10 year old also. So let's just get right into the tutorial okay so welcome to class today we'll be learning how to make a cone dress okay so we'll be focusing on the cone part of the dress the waist we're working with is 20 inches is for a two-year-old the half length is nine inches while the full length is 30 inches okay so the, we need the half length and the full length to know the length of the cone we are working with so we're just going to subtract 30 from 9 and that is going to give us 21 inches as our cone length and we need the ways to divide for the number of cones for this project i'll be needing 10 cones so for 10 cones i'm just going to divide 20 inches by 10 and that is going to give me two inches so the radius of each of my cone is going to be two inches so let's just get right into the tutorial okay so this is my paper on fold remember our radius is two inches because this paper is on fold i'll divide the two inches by two so that's going to give me one inch for each of the two sides and also this side how you fold your paper depends on how big you want your cone to be for this i intend to use 16 inches so on fold that is going to give me eight inches so i folded my paper by eight inches i hope you understand it let me shift it so that you can see clearly okay good so i hope you understand this so now I'll just get right into the tutorial i've divided this by two inches so i'm using one inch okay so i'm using one inch okay and i'm going to sew each cone to together so you just had the allowance you use for sewing i normally use half inch so i'm going to add half inch allowance to it so this is going to give me one and a half and i'm going to measure my cone length which is 21 inches okay so this is 21 inches right here and i had one inch allowance to it so that's going to give me 22 inches so on the 22 inches mark i'm just going to so on this 22 inches mark i'm going to go up by just two inches okay because i want to i don't want it just flat like that i want like a curvy effect right there so i'm going to connect from this 22 inches to my one and a half here with allowance diagonally so this has been connected now using my curve curve ruler i'm going to connect these two inches hopper that i marked to my m line like this so i'm just going to give it a smooth curve like this and we have one of her cones ready so i'm just going to cut this out so i've cut this now this is one of my cones if i open it up you can see this is what it's going to look like okay so now i'm going to cut nine of these remember we have this now when you open it up you can see what it looks like now we're going to cut nine of these remember we're working with 10 cones so the 10 cones is going to be having a zipper running through it so we have to include a zipper allowance to the ninth to the tenth so to do this i'm just going to place my cone pattern on the pattern paper like this measure the allowance that i need for my zipper is that one on one and a half inch depending on what you use as your allowance then you place your cone right on it like this and then you trace it out and cut i hope you understand this so this side that we left is going to be our zipper allowance so this is going to make up our tenth cone for the cone dress we are working with okay so if you notice the dress you have you on you notice that it has a smaller cone on top of this big cone so to cut that okay so for the smaller cone just like we folded for the first cone i'm going to fold my paper into okay so the radius for the shorter cone remain the same one inch for the main radius and half inch allowance for sewing and then the m line depends on how big you want it to be like i said for the first cone for this i'm using six inches okay 
so i just went up by one inch here to slant my cuff just like i did for the first gun and then i connected it to the m line using a curved ruler and then from here i connected this back to our radio so i'm just going to cut this half now okay so this is our small cone i'm going to cut five of these remember it's not hard on all of the cones or else you prefer it to be in your case so i'm going to cut five of these now and then let me just show you how it looks like on our bigger cone so this is the bigger cone you can see the radius is the same and then we're going to sew this to it so it will just pop up a bit like this remember i said the radius depends the wideness depends on how big you want your cone to be so i just set the patterns aside now because i've used the pattern to cut my main dress so these are my smaller cones i've cut five of these and i high on this is a add color stay you can also use very some just something really high so that you can allow the cone to have structure you can use add wording you can use crinoline you can use i'm using color stay very hard one you can use sieve so just get something really strong so that it can help the cone to pop out on its own so i've cut five of the smaller cones i also cut five linings for them i just i, I ironed normal uh paper stay just for because it's a it's a punji lining and it's not that strong so for it not to frill i added paper stay to it i also cut five of these and also i've cut my main fabric these are the main cone i ironed interface i had the color stay onto it also i cut nine of these and then i cut two of these for my remember we we'll slash open our center back okay so i have two of these for my center back to make it my tenth cone and also i've cut the lining for each of them and i also ironed paper stay on the lining so these are the lining this is for the center back okay so i have two of these for my center back as you can see once it comes together like this it becomes one so i've slashed it open so that a zipper can pass through it and these are the nine other cones for my main bodies all right so now i'm just going to go over to the sewing machine to turn each of them with a lining so i'm just going to grab i'll trim off all this i'm just going to grab one of my cone main bodies and then i'll place the lining the lining piece i'm going to place the lining piece on the main bodies like this and then i'll just sew it around and then turn it over to iron it so when i do this i'm going to bring it back to show us okay so now I have joined the lining to the main fabric i've joined the lining to the main bodies so you can see I saw it here to each other, then I turned this, then I pressed it with a heat transfer. That's why it's looking this flat. The heat transfer helped in applying pressure to it. So you can see how flat this is looking. Okay. Iron will also do the same job. You just need to apply pressure to it and make it very hot. So I used the door face material and I've done this for all of the nine pieces. You can see. This is all of it. Nine of them have been lined now. I also did the same for the smaller pieces. So I've lined all the five of them. And this is the tenth piece of my cone, which will carry the zipper allowance. So you can see. So they are all ready now. The next thing for me to do now is to sew them, join them together. If you have a serger, you can serge this side. Or you just cover it with a buyer so that you won't be having all these rough edges so the ones that will carry the smaller cone the one that will carry the smaller cone i'm going to just sew it like this i'll sew it like this and then sew it to the other side so that you just pop up i have an example of that here i've sewn this one i just sew it on both sides and you can see how my smaller cone is looking now so now i'm just going to take them to the sewing machine now and then join all of them on the sides like this 
so i'll join them together and then i'm going to bring it back to show us what it looks like when i'm done joining them so you can see what i was trying to explain when i was cutting them out so i'll take it to the machine now and sew them so everything has been joined together now you can see i've joined this inside and like i said you can search the inside for it to be very neat so i've joined everything together now the next thing to do is just to bring in my half length i already made the half length and then i'm going to sew it inside so this is the half length i'm working with i just take it and join it together like this so i'm going to join my half length with this and i intend to decorate the cone with some lace fabric so i'm just going to take cutouts from that lace so this is one of the cutouts that i already made i'm going to take cutouts from the lace I intend to embellish it with this lace, so I'm just going to apply gum on the other side of the lace and just place it to decorate it so you can decide to do this anyhow you want. So I'm going to take this to the sewing machine now and then I'll bring it back when it's all done to show us what it looks like. Okay, so this is what the dress looks like after joining the half length together with it. So, like I said, I'm going to just okay. So, this is the dress, this is the full dress. So, I'm just going to embellish it with some lace fabric. Okay, this is the back. I'm here to cut off the zipper, so I'll fix the zipper. And these are the small cones, you can see it just beautifies it. I added five cones to this five small cones and all the cones together are 10 big cones so i'm just going to fix this lace to it to beautify it so that's about it you can see how beautiful the dress is looking so just try give this a try and let's see how beautiful it comes out thanks for watching